Hey, what's up guys, Josiah Novak with The True Transformation. And today, I'm gonna give you my six best shoulder exercises for guys who want big shoulders, who also want to avoid shoulder injuries. Because if you're anything like me, you've experienced shoulder injuries over the year from sports, from being stupid in the gym, throwing around too much weight. Protecting your shoulders is vital, and big shoulders are impressive. They make your whole physique pop. So if you ever wondered, what are the best exercises for shoulders? I'm gonna give you my six ones right now. Without further ado, let's jump into today's workout. Okay guys, so what I wanna start out with is not your typical mass building shoulder exercises. I actually wanna walk you through a couple things that I do at the beginning of my shoulder workouts and oftentimes my upper body workouts to prevent injury, to warm my shoulders up and just make sure I'm taking care of the shoulder. The shoulder is made up of three main muscle groups. You have your front delt, your side delt, and your rear delt, okay? So it's important to make sure that we're taking care of all three heads of the shoulder muscle because if we're avoiding taking care of the rear or taking care of the side and actually taking care of the rotator cuff that's inside the shoulder muscle itself, then we're setting ourselves up for injury. So this is one that I like to do. And the way to set this up is to have a band, a relatively light band. You definitely don't need a heavy band for this. Um, you're gonna step on the band. First thing you're gonna do is a front raise, okay? Then you're gonna do a shoulder pull apart or a band pull apart before coming back and going all the way up overhead and doing another pull apart, okay? So let's walk through that again. So then we're coming back to the front, all the way down, front raise, band pull apart, all the way up, band pull apart. We're going to do this to warm up the shoulders, prevent shoulder injuries, and if you're dealing with shoulder pain, this is a good one. All right, so that one's called the band raise with pull aparts. Just make sure that you do the pull apart in the front, and then when you're all the way overhead, doing an overhead pull apart, all right? So the band pull apart, invest in one of these bands, the fully connected band, not the ones with the handles. These are like a couple bucks on Amazon. So I'll put a link below with my favorite uh, band brand that I use to pick these up, and you can check that out. Let's move to exercise number two. So for exercise number two, guys, we're gonna really warm up our rotator cuff. Being a former baseball player, this was probably the most important thing I did before any games, any practices, or any kind of work, work with my throwing arm, uh, which I was right-handed. So I would always do rotator cuff exercises prior to throwing the baseball. This is good for all athletes, so it's good for anybody who works out in the gym. Before you train shoulders, make sure your rotator cuff gets stimulated and protected, okay? So what I do is I just attach a band to a, uh, a, a stationary uh, pole like what I have here. You can find something like this in the gym. We're gonna step out till we feel some resistance from the band. And all we're doing is keeping that elbow tucked in tight to our sides and we're pulling in, okay? This is the internal rotation for the rotator cuff. And it's not meant to be too challenging. You're just trying to get the, the shoulder warmed up. Once again, we're gonna get into the good stuff here with building our shoulder size. But if we're not taking care of our shoulder health to begin with, then we're setting ourselves up for, for injury. Now, what you can do as an added bonus here, I'm gonna turn around. You just do the opposite motion. So elbow stays locked in, and we're just pulling out this time, okay? External rotation of the rotator cuff. Both sides, 15 to 20 reps. Once again, shouldn't be too challenging. If it is challenging, just lower the thickness of the band. Find a very, very light band and get after it. So let's move on to my third favorite shoulder exercise. All right, guys, this is exercise number three. Now, you've heard of the dumbbell shoulder press. Um, the dumbbell shoulder press overhead primarily hits the anterior deltoid, okay? This is the main deltoid for anything in the frontal plane. Obviously, like I said earlier, you have three heads. We're gonna do the, the rear and the side delt through these exercises too. But most people, when they do the dumbbell shoulder press, they're sitting at a 90 degree angle, right? Their back is straight and they're pressing overhead. What I like to do, and I picked this one up from a guy named Paul Carter. You can check him out on Instagram. I think it's at Paul Carter. I'm not sure, but shout out to Paul. So to set this one up, we're gonna set the incline at a high incline. Now I have my spotter who's doing a really good job of making sure I don't get hurt. All right, Cameron? Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna spot me because we're lifting some heavy weight today. Or he's just gonna be mute, either one, it's gonna help. But, all right, so we're going to set the bench and then we're gonna go back like we're about to do an incline chest press with dumbbells. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the elbows nice and tucked in and we're gonna press overhead, slow and controlled. Bring it down, elbows stay tucked in the whole way. You're gonna feel this in your front delt. A little bit of chest is normal 
But if you do it right, slow and controlled, you'll feel that front delt going to work, man. Like this thing just crushes the front delt. Slow and controlled. And that is exercise number three. Number four is for the rear delts. We're gonna do a rear delt fly. There's a couple different ways you can hit the rear delts. I just like to be old school and stick to a rear delt fly. Why? It's simple, you'll feel it, and uh, you honestly can do it pretty much anywhere because you don't need heavy dumbbells. I'm using 40s, but please start way lighter just so you get a feel. All we're gonna do is we're gonna find the end of a bench. Dumbbell's gonna go to our side. We're gonna lean over, chest will touch our, our top of our quads, and all we're doing is the reverse of a chest fly. Coming out, squeezing the delt. Couple pointers here. When you come out, you wanna keep a slight bend in your elbow, all right? So you're really thinking about your pinky coming out higher than the rest of your fingers and squeezing the back of your shoulders. You don't wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together and get your traps involved. You wanna bring the shoulder out till you feel that squeeze in that small muscle head that runs right here on the back of your shoulder. So I'm gonna show you how slow and controlled my reps are. So we're here. Squeeze. Now, the rear delt can respond to a little heavier uh, weight as well as a little lighter weight and more reps, okay? Um, I like to make sure that I'm, I'm hitting my rear delt every single time I do any kind of front delt work. That way I keep the balance in the shoulder. Oftentimes I'll even do double work for the rear delt. So if I'm doing two or three sets for front delt, I'll do six sets for my rear delt. Just because I'm sitting a lot during the day and my shoulders have a tendency to roll forward and I wanna make sure that rear delt gets hit. All right, so that's exercise number four. Let's do five. All right, so guys, we did the rear delt, we did the front, we did some injury prevention work. And uh, for the next one, we're gonna throw a kid about a mile Right? Because you won't stay out of the way? <laughs> All right, so we're now we're gonna work the side delt. Now, typical exercise that I see everybody do is the side dumbbell raise. And most people do it incorrectly. And I'm gonna give you a bonus spin on the side delt exercise. A couple things you can throw in for variation, but one tip that will help you out a lot, instead of having your arms straight by your side, bring your hands up a little bit, okay? Bring your hands up almost like you're starting to do a hammer curl. And we're gonna have this angle here to allow us to really isolate that side delt a little bit better. You'll feel it just by, if you do straight arm straight, go out, you don't really feel that side delt working. Bring the arms up a little bit. Oh yeah, right in the side delt. Everything is right on that side delt muscle from that angle. Okay, now a variation you can do, side delt raise, but we're gonna bring the arms up a little bit further this time so we're going up here, then back, okay? Back down, here, up, rotate back. I call these the Novak shoulder presses here. The reason I like those is because you actually get to hit a little bit of that rear delt too. So you get the side delt and then on the rotation, you get the rear delt inside the exercise too. So just a little variation. Once again, don't go heavy on this start super light. I would err on the side of being too light. You can always go up and wait if you need to. So that's exercise number five. Let's do the last one, number six. Okay, for the last one, you need an exercise to weight. It doesn't have to be the 45 like I have here, but I'm gonna show you two that I really like for shoulders. One for traps as well as a bonus, all right? Now, because everybody trains their traps with their shoulders usually, so I figured I'd throw one in so you guys start to get some big traps too. First one for shoulders, just a plate front raise. It's super challenging with the grip that you have to have on the plate, forces you to just use the delt. Can't really cheat all the way up, slow and control down. Now, if you wanna make this super challenging, and this is gonna probably be a little too heavy for me, but I'm gonna show you a couple reps. I call it the bus drivers. Here, twist, down, up, twist, down. Oh. Oh. Definitely a little too heavy with the 45, but a 25 would be perfect if you're trying to go for higher reps. Now, for the traps, the goal with training the traps, because the traps run down basically your whole entire back. They start up here, connected to your neck, 
They run down the center of your back and they attach down here. You're trying to shorten this muscle. You're, so you're trying to basically, it's, it's long just sitting here relaxed. You're trying to shorten it, okay, to help grow the trap. So a good one is overhead plate raises. Don't know of much else besides this one that shortens the trap this effectively. Obviously you can do shrugs. That has some contraction in the top of the traps. But this one, for those mid to upper traps, honestly nothing really beats it. So you're gonna be here, you're gonna come all the way up, squeeze the trap at the top, come down. Squeeze. Those will absolutely grow your traps and your front delt because with that front raise, you're building in some front delt work and that's crushed my head. All right, so guys, incorporate these six shoulder exercises into your routine. You'll see size, you'll see less injuries, you'll get some trap work, your physique will start to take that V shape and you won't have to worry about shoulder injuries. So it's a win, win, win on all fronts. All right, guys, Josiah Novak with True Transformation. If you like the video, drop a comment below with your favorite shoulder exercise. My boys are being boys, I guess. Till next time, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video. <laughs> I'll be back again soon. Remember, life moves fast. Make it count. Let me go take care of these hooligans. See you on the next one. Peace.